Hello, let's chop and prop my monstera together. Do a little plant cleanup on the prize winning monstera adesoniae. So she's got some yellow leaves that we're going to pop off because I'm just going to clean it up. This one's yellow. Oops. Yellow. Yellow. This yellow. That one's pretty yellow too. I'm going to just pop it off. And um, what else? I think what I'm going to do with this guy, girl, whatever this monster, monstera is. There's another dead leaf. Another dead leaf. It's hard to tell where they are attached to, but anyway, that's my pileated woodpecker that you hear in the background. If you look at my videos, you'll see I have a video of that bird and he's in my backyard. So anyway, um, I'm taking off all the yellow leaves and what I think I'll do is I will take one of these really leggy um, parts of the plant and I'm going to propagate it. And then next time, we'll talk about propagating this. This is a Monstera, by the way. This is a Monstera adesoniae. And this is a Monst... Well, this is a blend of a bunch of pothos, a Monstera deliciosa, and some more pothos, and actually some Monstera adesoniae. So this is a blend of a bunch of different plants, but what I'll do is I'll take some of the legginess off of this and propagate it with you guys. And I'll show you how I propagate my Monsteras. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate, oops, sorry about that, Mr. Monstera. There's another little one that's yellow, probably from overwatering. Um, so I'm going to take that off and separating these. See how leggy that is? Leggy, long legs. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take this off. By the way, I'm going to do a separate video on these. These are called air roots. They're also called adventitious roots which is how I got the name for my channel. Um, and we'll talk more about adventitious roots in another video, but I am going to take some of these leggy pieces off of this Monstera and propagate it with you guys. So, let me start right now, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take uh, this one. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one hand. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to, now, if you're like freaking out and like, oh my gosh, she's cutting her beautiful monstera up. You need to know that um, pruning your plants is the best way to promote growth. So you cut these these vines off that are just super leggy, and you cut them off, and it promotes growth. 
on the upper part of the plant. I'm going to cut this one up here. Now, and if you hear that in the background, that's my pileated woodpecker. That's the largest woodpecker in North America. Anyway, I'm taking all of this right here, and I'm going to take it over to my workbench, and I have given this baby a nice um, haircut so it'll grow in thicker and now all that energy that was going into those these long stems is going to be directed towards the middle of the plant and it's going to push out a bunch of new leaves so let's go over to my workbench and I will show you how I propagate all of these guys all right so here I have all of my um, Everything that I cut off of my Swiss cheese, Monstera, Addisonii, and how you propagate these little guys. You can do it a few ways, but this is how I do it. I take um, just, I'm going to take this where the leaf is, and I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to cut each loaf each loaf each leaf at its node so each leaf is going to grow um, roots from here so each leaf where I cut it is going to be a potential new plant and let me show you really quick on the last short that I recorded I, I recorded um, this cute little mug and these are propagations from a pothos that I did and I did it the exact same way I did each leaf um, cutting it at its node and you can see the growth from the root cutting each leaf at its node, even the small leaves. You see that? It's already got like a two inch root coming out of it. This one, I left three leaves on it and I left a little bit more. So this has three leaves and it has a really good root, a really good start of a root system. I'm not gonna put them in dirt just yet. I'm letting them get, uh, this one's not really doing anything, but whatever. Um, Anyway, you can see each leaf I took, I cut it at the node and you can see that the roots has like one root growing from, some of them have more, but anyway, you can see what, what I'm talking about. So anyway, I wanted to show you with this because that's how I did, that's exactly how I did these pothos. Um, one, leaf, one leaf at each node, so. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, taking like here. See that has a, a that. I'm gonna use this leaf. I'm gonna cut it here and cut it here. And now it's gonna be just like the pothos that I just showed you. I'm gonna stick it in water and I can even cut this extra green off because that doesn't matter. This is the node I'm talking about. It already has a root coming out of it. So that's what I'm gonna use to propagate. I'm gonna do that with each leaf on everything that I cut from that Monstera that I just showed you. So I'm gonna go through this whole thing, cutting them all. This one already has two roots growing out of it. Uh, it's a little twisted lit, twisted leaf. Um, sometimes that happens when they aren't able to unfurl correctly. But they're still really good for propagating. I'll do this one. This one. See? You don't have to worry. You can cut your plants back. And they actually do better when you propagate them. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of this, and then I'll show you what I have when I'm done. 
All right, so now I have all of these, all of these leaves that I cut into single, single node propagations. Each one, every one of these is similar to this, where I just took it and I um, cut it right at the node so I can stick this part right here into water. So that is what I'm gonna do with every one of these. And um, some of them, like this one, uh, I wasn't sure what to do with it because it was kind of whatever. So I don't, I just don't worry about it because I have a huge plant and these are all just propagations. And once they start forming roots, um, two to four inch roots, I will plant them in soil. So that's what I start with. So now what I'm doing is, you know, I just found a vase. This is why I like to go to thrift stores because I like to find, this is not one I found at a thrift store. This is one that I had. But if you go thrift store shopping, you can find pretty vases like, like this one. Oh my goodness, which is in one of my videos previously. This is one of my favorite vases because it's super heavy glass and it's this pretty warm orange color that has that lets the light come through like really really super pretty um, but here I'm taking everything that I cut and I'm gonna stick it all in this vase whatever vase you have whatever you have for water um, most of the time I just put them in a in a little cup a little um, plastic cup but these, some of them I, I used extra. I don't know why, but whatever. I don't probably have to do that, so I'm gonna cut this off. So it's gonna be that much. I'm just gonna stick that in there. And I'm gonna do that for each piece of this plant. And then you're gonna have something really pretty to put on your table for the next month or so until it gets really established roots that you can then transplant and turn into a new house plant. Okay, so here I have shoved them all into this vase. Oops, I shoved them all into this vase. Now probably what I should have done is, <laughs> it's spilling everywhere. I probably should have taken these and put them into two vases, but for the sake of this video, I wanted them, I just wanted to show you how I get them all into water. I probably, um, will divide them into two vases um, because you want to change their water very frequently because the more often you change the water, the more oxygen um, gets to these uh, potential new roots. And the more oxygen, the, the more frequently you change the water, the faster their roots will grow. And I have learned that, I'm not trying to spill it, I'm trying to show you the top of the plant. It is so pretty. So. Um, the more often, the more frequent you change this, this water, the faster these propagations will grow. So that's how you do it. And, um, you just throw the rest of the plant away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you real soon.